Hi, this is JK Pens. Um, that's my handle on Instagram, and this is actually my first attempt at a video review. Well, I should say this is like my fifth attempt at my first attempt, uh, my first video review. And I've spent, <laughs> I have a lot of respect for people who do these because I've had a lot of challenges getting this to work, but I think we're okay now. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty basic setup here with my iPhone and a podcasting mic. And actually my stage is a sweater over a cardboard box. Okay, let's dive in. So this is the Three Oysters My Color DIY Ink Kit. Um, this is an ink mixing kit. I was very excited when Three Oysters announced it, but it wasn't available in the US. Um, on Fountain Pen Day, I got a screaming good deal on this from citylux.sg in Singapore. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and it shipped and it eventually made it here, which was awesome. And so I'm going to show you what's in it and uh, demo a little bit of mixing and then tell you some thoughts about what's great and what could be improved. And that's it. And I'll uh, try to keep it uh, pretty, pretty concise. Okay, so here we go. So there's this nice pretty slip, slip sleeve, just some information on the back. And inside it comes in this really nice storage tin. Uh, this is really nicely thought out. And uh, we'll do the big reveal in a moment, but first it comes with this envelope. In this envelope are a few things. There is a chart showing you the 10 colors it comes with and what you might expect to get if you did one-to-one -one ratios of each of them. Um, and we'll talk more about the colors and the mixing uh, in a little bit. Um, it comes with a very brief guidebook uh, in both English and Korean. And the most important thing probably is uh, uh, it explains what the toner is, because otherwise maybe you wouldn't know. I don't know. Um, and that's about it. And then it has these four sort of coloring cards. They're not really postcards. I mean, I guess you could use them as postcards, but they're coloring cards. Those are the same designs that are on the uh, front of the thing here. Uh, so you can color those in with your inks that you make, I suppose. Okay, so enough about that little envelope. Actually, I want to show you one thing before I put it away. The thing that we're going to try and see what happens is you see here, magenta and yellow makes this kind of nice orange. So I thought that might make a nice fall kind of color since it's fall when I'm filming this. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention really quickly is that the selection of colors is kind of interesting because there's the uh, CMYK, CYMK, whatever that is, uh, ink uh, printing system. And so in theory, and uh, we can talk about the reality later, but in theory, you could mix a lot of ink colors because uh, this is what like your inkjet printer uses. Um, these are the primary colors that are used uh, in a situation like that. And then it has these other colors. Um, actually, I will point out one thing while I'm here. Uh, this green is a pretty yellow leaning green and this emerald is a pretty blue leaning green. And as it shows here, and I actually discovered this playing with this earlier, if you want more of like a foresty green, almost like a true green, if you mix those two, you get it. And the reason is, if it makes sense, is that it's green and yellow and green and blue. When you mix them together, the yellow and blue make more green. And so you actually get something that's really green if you put those two together. It really surprised me at first, but then I thought, oh, basic color theory. I guess the other thing I'll point out is it's really easy to make muddy colors, right? Because a lot of these uh, colors have more than one primary color in them. And uh, you put two together, you get all three primary colors, you're going to get different kinds of muddy shades or browns. Um, anyways, but it's a, it's a fun set of colors to play with. Okay, let's move on. All right, so under the little foam uh, liner here is the kit. And the kit includes everything you need to get started. And that is one of the things that I really like about this is literally if you have this and a wet paper towel and a piece of paper, you can go. Um, it includes a glass dip pen, a nice basic glass dip pen to uh, practice with. Obviously much easier than inking up a pen. And it actually works pretty well. I mostly use metal dip pens. Um, and I'll talk more about you know, kind of the limitations of the glass dip pen a little bit. It has the vials of the 10 colors of ink. They are not labeled with their color, um, which is okay. Uh, but in low light, I found it a little hard to tell the some of the colors apart just from looking at the label, uh, which is the color, but not the color name, is I guess what I'm trying to say. Um, Right now I'm filming under a Verilux uh, full spectrum uh, light, so uh, the colors are very, they're popping and they're actually quite faithful, uh, it looks like on my iPhone screen here. In addition to the 10 colors, 
Uh, it comes with two vials. As far as I know, they're the same of toner. The toner is really just clear ink. It's like the same base as the ink, presumably, uh, but with no pigment or no, um, yeah, no, no dye. I guess I should say these aren't pigmented inks, probably. Um, so it's for thinning the ink. I guess you could also just use like distilled water, but this probably has lubricant and maybe some fungicide or something. Um, and then it also comes with one empty vial. Well, it did. Uh, I have an ink I've been cooking up uh, in there. Uh, but this was an empty one to save your favorite creations. And it comes with two little uh, little cute mixing mixing vials. And, uh, and when we do the when we do the demo, I'll tell you my thoughts about uh, these. Okay, so that's what it comes with. Um, really nicely packed. Like honestly, like this thing, it just stores really well. Like I just I really appreciate that attention to detail. This cutout foam, and then with the with this thing on top and the metal lid, like this, this is just great. And the lid's pretty snug, although I'm keeping the, it's not totally gonna stay on by itself, so I'm keeping the slip case. Um, plus the slip case looks nice. Okay, enough about that. So let's, let's play with some ink, because after all, that's the whole point of this, is to have fun with ink. So I have here my trusty uh, Rhodia pad on a uh, Walden Woodworkers pad holder from uh, Galen Leather in Turkey. And so, yeah, this is fun. This is like totally an international convention here. I've got Korean inks that I purchased from Singapore, uh, French paper, and a uh, Turkish thing here. Um, sorry, USA. I have a lot of your pens, don't worry. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, so like I said, I think I'll just try a very simple mix of the magenta, which is... Um, Fun fact, magenta is not a color of the rainbow. It is a color that the human brain invents from a mix of colors. Um, well, I guess the human brain kind of invents all the colors, but it is not one that you can find in the rainbow. And what did I say? Yellow, magenta and yellow. Okay, and I'm gonna put these on opposite sides. One drop of each. Okay, great. Uh, these are very saturated base inks I discovered, which is probably good because it's easier to dilute than to concentrate it after the fact. Um, and more about that a little bit. Okay, so uh, the dip pen, the glass dip pen, it's pretty nice. You can just take this and here's the magenta. I'm not even gonna try to write the word. because If you follow me on Instagram, you know how horrible my handwriting is. Um, and I have misplaced the paper towel I was going to use. And so now you're going to see why I always have inky fingers, because this is how I'm going to clean it off. Booyah. Okay. And then here's the yellow. Obviously it's, well, it's a little stained there from the magenta, but you get the idea. It's yellow. In fact, actually, let me pause here because first thing I did when I got the kit and opened it up, was I tried all the colors. So here's what the colors look like. As you can see, they're super saturated. Um, again, better than the alternative. The yellow is actually, uh, and this is at least on my iPhone, showing up really true to color. It's kind of a golden yellow. It's not like a real lemony yellow. And I think that's one limitation of the kit. There's not like a, not like a real pure lemon yellow. Um, it does lighten up a little bit with a water or toner. And the magenta is a very dark magenta, okay? So it doesn't really look like, it doesn't really look like this, right? So it's not really bright printers magenta and bright printers yellow and bright printers, well, I wrote blue here because I forgot it was cyan, but bright cyan, maybe with some dilution. Um, I tried actually following a few CMYK recipes from colors on the web, etc. Pantone color of the year, living coral, and it doesn't really doesn't really quite work out. So I, I think unfortunately there was an opportunity here to do true uh, CMYK, but they got close. It's fun to play with, but I uh, don't think you're gonna be replicating, you know, oh, 59% uh, of this and 41% of that and, and all that kind of stuff and getting exactly what you want. Anyways, okay, so we have these two. And so now we're gonna let them commingle here in the thing. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, so we add those together and we get this. Um, I don't know how well you can see what that hue is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glop some on the page and then smear it out so you can see it's kind of a, it's kind of an orangish red. It actually does make a nice kind of fall color. It's a, I don't know if that's an orange leaning red or a red leaning orange. And if, and it's a little bit to the brown. And if you think about what's going on here, this is a yellow 
And this is a magenta, which has some red and some blue elements to it. And so we have a little bit of all of the colors, but we mostly have yellow and red. Um, and so we get something orangish and a little bit of blue uh, stops it from being a bright orange, right? So it doesn't look like orange, orange. Um, and that's because if you get all those primary colors in there, you start leaning into the, into the brown, but it's a nice color. Okay. All right, I will attempt to write something. Magenta plus yellow. Oops, okay. Now, like I said, super saturated. Um, so what you can do is you're like, well, I like that, but I want to, I want to lighten it up. So I put in two drops of uh, ink and I'll put in two drops of this. Looks pretty cool in there. Put it right under the lens. Okay, so you can see it's mixing, 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 mixing. Get it on the nib. Got it up good. And then we do add two, two units of toner. Oh, you can't really see the difference because I think I gooped so much onto the nib. It's and you can see a little bit. Mm. I don't know if you compare those two. This is a little lighter. Now, this comes to one of the limitations of the of the glass dip pen. Um, it's fine, uh, but what it doesn't really do that I would like it to do is it doesn't really help me understand how well the ink is going to shade. So what I'm going to do is, pardon me, set this way over here. I'm gonna just take a uh, cheapo nib holder, put on a, uh, this one have a good slit in it, yeah, let's put this one on. This is a cheap uh, nib holder and nib set that I actually bought at a, uh, of all places, I found it at a Barnes and Noble bookstore and in the stationery section just randomly and I was like, oh, okay. Um, so what I like about the steel nib is of course you can Flag. Ooh, this one's really soft. You can flex it and immediately run out of ink. And that allows you to, among other things, as it dries, you can see if it shades. And, and the more you desaturate it, the more with the, um, with the toner, the more it's going to become a, a shading ink. Um, in fact, a, a version of this I was playing with earlier got to the point where it was, um, it reminded me almost, it wasn't quite there, but it reminded me a little bit of Noodler's Apache Sunset. So that's what you can do with this. You can mix inks and have a good time. Um, the ink I mixed earlier today, I was aiming for some sort of teal coys something something. And uh, I can just ink this up right out of the thing here. You can hear my cat in the background scratching herself. Okay, so this was a fun color I mixed. I really like this one. So yeah, you can have a good time with this. Um, so a few parting thoughts. So um, like I said, glass dip nib, really nice that they included it so you can dip pen so you can get going. Uh, maybe I would have preferred steel, but anyways, I can't complain. It's pretty nice. Um, these little mixing things are just like okay. I'm, I think the biggest problem, I, I wish they had conical bottoms on the inside like a standard ink file does like here's a here's an ink file oh, here's an ink file um, it's conical in the bottom so everything concentrates and it makes it easier to mix um, but it's okay uh, and it's nice that they included too I and speaking of ink files I wish that maybe instead of one dropper bottle because it's unlikely that I'm gonna make a full bottle out of any of this I, I almost wish they had included some of these or some mini versions of these just so I had more because I keep creating more inks than I'm rummaging around in my ink collection for empty bottles and cleaning them out um, but it's again these are like minor minor complaints on the whole I think it's a really uh, well-conceived kit um, even with the limitations on the you know on the, what the CMYK can do but you have lots of colors to play with. One thing that's cool is that, um, oh, and I probably am gonna end up wishing they included more toner because I'm going through this stuff like a beast because I really want, you know, the super saturated inks are cool, but I really want inks that have a little more shade and character. But I, I suspect I could probably just use a little bit of this in distilled water and be fine, especially if I'm just using it in a dip pen. 
Um, the other thing that's cool is that I believe they sell the individual colors in larger bottles. Um, so these are like five mils, but you can get, I don't know how big they are, but larger bottles. So like once you got a recipe that you liked, you could put them all together. I mean, you could put it together in a larger volume uh, by ordering the, the larger things. So, so I think uh, that was a, a, a nice touch. All right, I've been wrapping at you for a long time now. So I'll just finish by saying this has been the Three Oysters My Color DIY Ink Kit. Tons of fun, highly recommend it if you can find it, uh, particularly if you can get a, a good deal on it like I did. And um, that's it. I hope you're having a great uh, morning or afternoon or evening or night, whatever it is in your part of the world. Thanks for listening.